Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a data scientist and I've been testing Codecademy over the past several months to bring you a comprehensive Codecademy review. Should you sign up for Codecademy in 2020? We'll look at everything related to how they're structured, their learning style, what programming languages you can learn, the amount of support you'll get, and then I'll give you my overall pros and cons and my recommendation on whether Codecademy is a good option for someone that wants to learn data science in 2020. Before we jump into the details, I want to be really clear that this video is not at all sponsored by Codecademy. This is my own opinion based on spending my own money to sign up and use Codecademy to see how it works. I want to give you an unbiased opinion on whether it's a good option for you. Now let's get to the details. Codecademy is an online platform for learning programming languages. Their core focus is teaching you different languages, no matter what type of job you're getting into. So whether you want to be a programmer or you want to be a data scientist or data analyst, there are platforms there to help you learn the programming language end of things that you'll need to know for any of those jobs. In terms of curriculum, Codecademy offers dozens of different courses, as well as practice and project options for you to use. While you can take courses in any order, the main structure of Codecademy seems to be more around this skill path and career path. There are four different career paths and 10 different skill paths that you can choose from. Career paths are obviously longer because you're building the skills that you need for a career. These career paths are built on a collection of multiple different courses that are offered. Skills paths are a little quicker because you're focused on just learning a specific skill. So it makes sense it's gonna be a little quicker. These seem like they're a combination of both courses and also segments of courses, and in some cases, additional training that's not within a major course so that you can really hone in on the skill and not spend a lot of time on unrelated items that might be present in other courses that they have to offer. Codecademy estimates how long it's gonna to take to complete each course or path, so you know upfront going in roughly how much time you should allocate to just go through the specific things that they've outlined as things that you need to work on as part of the course or the path. The four Codecademy career paths that are offered are Code Foundations, essentially learning the basics of coding, as well as Computer Science, Data Science, and Web Development. The programming languages included in Codecademy training are quite numerous because they are focused on helping people learn to code. So it makes sense that with this as their primary focus, they would offer a pretty big variety. They offer everything from HTML and CSS to Python, R, even Go and Swift. You can see the complete list on the screen right now. There's multiple different options here to choose from, and you could pick and choose how much of each one you want to use, or you could just focus in one specific area. These languages are then used within different courses. There are 65 different Code Academy courses that you can choose from. If you've watched my data camp review, this number of courses is not gonna sound like many compared to the 300 plus that data camp has to offer. However, if you look at the details, the Code Academy courses tend to be a lot more inclusive than what the data camp courses have to offer. For instance, if you wanna learn Python, there's one course within Code Academy to do this, and it's Learn Python 3, or you could learn Python 2 as well. This Python 3 course is 25 hours long. Compare that to DataCamp, which offers multiple different courses that are three to four hours long to learn the same amount of Python information. So initially it seems like there's a lot less in terms of course option in Codecademy, but they're really just much more consolidated than what DataCamp offers. Codecademy also offers projects. Once you've learned some skills, you can move into the project phase and really put them into practice. Each project is categorized usually in two different ways. Primarily, it seems to be the major category like data science and the programming language like Python. So you can easily sort out the different projects 
and focus on one that's in the programming language that you've been working on and the general area of focus that you've wanted. So whether that's data science or whether you're just learning basics, you can pick and choose projects that are more suitable to the skills that you've been trying to learn. And so you can more easily practice those skills that you've wanted to build. Codecademy projects are a blend of heavily guided and open-ended. You could start out with the heavily guided projects and really work with those where you can get specific feedback very quickly on what you're doing. And then as you become more comfortable with your skills, move in the direction of the open-ended projects where there may not be one right answer, or maybe there is, but they're not going to be there to support you through the way. It's more of the foundation to get you started on the project so you can go out and really put these skills into practice. This is a really good blend of giving you guidance, but also pushing you the direction of what the reality of working with these languages and skills will be like, which is you're going to have to figure it out on your own a lot of the time based on a general guidance that you receive. Codecademy's structure is based around giving you examples and then telling you how to put them into practice. There are some video lessons available, but the majority of things are a written text that you go through and then you move into the exercises. So if you want video, Codecademy is probably not the best option, at least at this point, for the way that you want to learn. Most of the practice that you're given within each exercise relates very directly to the examples and explanations that they've written. So I found it pretty easy to take and apply those skills no matter how much I knew about them before I started. As with many other platforms, you get immediate feedback on your work. If you've gotten an error in your code, you have the opportunity to correct it and resubmit it. So it's not just telling you, uh oh, you got it wrong, here's how you do it correctly. It really enforces, you got it wrong, take a chance, correct it, figure out what the right way to do things is, and then you can submit it. If you're struggling, you can also get hints along the way. I noticed early on there weren't a lot of hints, but as you get into more complex topics, there's a lot more help available to solve these. As you make progress through the different topics, you'll also have different comprehensive reviews of what you've just learned, which are great summaries to cap off each learning section and to tell you, here's what you've learned, here's the concepts, and offer a good reference point if you need to go back in the future to revisit an earlier concept that maybe you didn't fully grasp or don't realize that you didn't fully grasp until you get into building off of that concept more. Each lesson also links to a community forum where you can get feedback or get help if you're struggling with that particular lesson. Codecademy's style is great if you're a person that learns by doing. You get a tiny bit of theory, but mainly you jump in and just practice and figure it out. Let's talk about cost. How much does Codecademy cost? Codecademy has two pricing levels for individuals as well as a business level for those that are interested in having multiple employees trained. At the free level, you can take basic courses and do some limited practice. I found though in actuality, this some basic courses really means that you can take parts of some courses. So if you're really in this to learn a significant amount about a language or a skill, you're going to have to sign up for the paid option. The other pricing level is their pro plan, which is a $20 a month cost. On the pro plan, you get everything Codecademy has to offer. You can take any courses, do any practice, even do mobile practice if you want. You can do all of the projects that they have to offer and get additional support along the way. In terms of support and community, both the free and the paid plan come with access to the community forum where you can get feedback and help from other users. The paid plan also comes with access to an exclusive forum where you can get additional support and it seems to be a little bit more structured than the open community forum that anyone can access. We've gone through the structure and what Codecademy has to offer. Now let's look at the pros and cons. On the pro side, Codecademy offers a lot of variety in the languages you can learn. So if you want to learn a little bit about a lot of different things, Codecademy is the perfect option. You can learn from multiple different languages related to data science and coding languages that generally 
aren't used for data science as well. It's a cost-effective option that is really easy to use for someone that likes to immerse themselves into the practice and figure it out by doing, learn by doing instead of being given a lot of instruction and then a little bit of practice. Codecademy has its cons though. I'm looking at Codecademy primarily from a data science and data analytics lens, since that's really what my channel focuses around. From that perspective, Codecademy really is lacking in terms of the non-programming related data science options. However, I think that's maybe not a fair con to give on Codecademy as a whole because they don't really pretend to be a comprehensive option. They're very clear that their main goal is to help you learn a language. They're not there to necessarily help you learn all of the other skills that you need to get into the roles that they focus on. So even though they offer a data science career track and these are heavily focused on some of the mathematics and the data and the details that you would use in a data science role, I don't see Codecademy as as advocating that they offer everything you need to know in that area. And this is certainly an area that's easy to supplement in other ways and build those skills outside of the Codecademy platform. Based on that, my overall recommendation is that Codecademy is a great option for people that like to learn by doing, that want to jump in and learn. If you want something more data science oriented, you might prefer DataCamp, though it is a little bit more expensive. If you want a variety of options, then Codecademy has more to offer in that area. I like that Codecademy offers a good mix of structure and free form work. So you get the structure as you're learning, but then you still get the opportunity to build those skills outside of the structured environment, which is a little bit more like the environment that you'll end up working working in when you put these skills into practice in a job. Use the link in the description to check out Codecademy for yourself. Try their free plan and see if you like it. And if you do, it's easy to upgrade to the pro plan. You can even get a free trial of the pro plan for a week to see if everything else that it adds is stuff that you're interested in. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video.